Welcome back to the Tamarack Sew Along. This is our second to last video in the series, and in today's lesson, we will be inserting our sleeves, finishing our sleeve hems, and then sewing up the side seams. So we're almost done, and you'll be wearing your jacket very soon. So let's dive in. All right, so today we're going to be setting our sleeves and sewing up our side seams, but before we do that, we need to finish the lower edge of the sleeves. So we're gonna finish this edge the same way we finished every other edge on this jacket with bias binding. As we've done before, we're going to take our bias binding, unfold it, and pin across. And I'm going to trim it off at the edge. Now we're going to head over to the machine and we're going to sew across in that first fold ditch, which is a half inch seam allowance. Now, once again, we're gonna press away from the sleeve, flip your sleeve over. We're gonna fold the binding to the wrong side. Press. and pin. Now once again, we'll head over to our machine and we're gonna stitch it in place from the front. Once again, I have my edge stitching foot on. And removing my pins as I go, I'm just gonna stitch from one side to the other. All right, now that the hems of our sleeves are bound, it's time to set our sleeves into our jackets. So to do this, set your sleeves aside briefly. Grab your jacket, and lay it out with the right side or the outside facing up. Now we need to find our sleeve that corresponds. So we need one notch in the front, two notches in the back, so here we have, wrong one. Here we go, one notch in the front. We're gonna align those two notches. Our top notch goes to our shoulder seam. And our two notches in back go to the two notches in back. Now you're gonna pin your underarm.
And then we need to pin the rest of our sleeve. So again, we're doing a convex to a concave curve. So the two edges are not going to align, but the seam lines will. So I like to find the center, align that first. Then I move here, center, and then again, there we go. And how I did that again is I hold the two outside pins. I find the center and I align the center of the two segments. Then again, the center of this one. And the center here. Now we're going to head over to our machine. We're going to sew our half inch seam allowance along the sleeve cap. All right, for this, I am switching back to my walking foot because there's just a lot of layers here. And this will help me reduce any tucks that might form. So, half inch seam allowance. And you're going to have to do a lot of, oops, sorry, rearranging and maneuvering. Get your pins out of there. This is a lot of jacket. I know I keep saying that, but it really is just a lot of layers. Make sure your shoulder seam goes in flat. And here, I'm gonna reach under. Yes, we're still flat. Now we need to finish our seam allowance. I am going to serge mine together because all of this is going to be pressed in the same. Now we need to finish our seam allowance. I'm going to finish my two layers together because they're going to be pressed towards the sleeve and I'm just going to serge mine. You can bind this, but it does get bulky. sure your shoulder seam goes through smooth. And there you go. So what we're going to do now is just lightly press the seam allowance towards the sleeve. Now this is a curved 
seam, so I'm doing it over a ham. So now we need to sew our underarm seams, but before we do that, I'm going to serge each underarm and side seam separately. Usually I serge after I've sewn the seam. It's a little dicey because there's just so many um, layers of fabric going together at the underarm, so I do find it easier to serge now. So let's do that. Here we are at the serger. I'm going to serge off a tail. Then with my needle up, I'm going to insert my garment. another tail and then continue leaving tails at both ends because we're going to bury those ends so we want to have a tail for them all right what we're going to do now is anchor our serger tails so grab your serger tail I like to use a needle with a blunt tip thread your tail through Then we're going to go up through your surging and then back down. And that should anchor it nicely. And then clip and repeat that for the rest of your tails. All right, so after all your ends have been tucked in, it's time to sew up our side seams. So to do that, lay your jacket out, right side facing up. And we're gonna bring the front and the back on top of one another. And our sleeve will be folded in half. So we're gonna start pinning. We're gonna pin our underarm. And then the area between. Now we need to do the side seam. So our two um, binding edges We'll align because that's our notched point. And then we'll just pin our side seams together. So this is our entire seam. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our machine. We're gonna start at our sleeve hem and sew down through the underarm and then down, we're going to just sew right off the edge of our binding. All right, so again, starting at the underarm, half inch seam allowance.
And I'm really gonna back tack there because it's the end of our sleeve. It's gonna get a lot of um, use. Now when we get up to the underarm, so up to it, and then you're going to make sure both of your seam allowances on the top and the bottom are pointed in the right direction, and slide that through. Make sure your edges here are aligned nicely. We're just going to sew straight down off the edge. I'm going to back tack. So again, that's a point of stress. And that's it. Now we need to press our seam allowances open. Give this lower edge a good press. I didn't clip my thread. And continue working up through the sleeve. Now here at this edge, where the binding is pressed open, um, if you wash your jacket a lot, um, you can find that this will kind of start to close together. A little trick that I like to do I'm going to sew on the front and just trace this seam line here with my stitching and that will anchor this onto the back open. So I just sink my needle. And then pivot. all your existing stitching back down. One final thing you can do if you're worried about this point having stress is you can bar tack over the two edges to keep them together. I'll show you how to do that now. So I have my machine set to a four and a half width and a 0.4 length. So I'm just going to slide that under keeping the seam line even with the center of my machine foot. I'm just going to stitch back and forth. Alright, so that is now very secure. It's not going to go anywhere. It's in place. And I mean, you can pull on this, the fabric's gonna rip before the thread. All right, so after you have repeated that for the other side, you now have a jacket you can wear. The only thing we have left to do is our closures. So I'll be demoing that next time. We'll be going over snaps and hook and eye closures. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, Make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any of our video lessons, and I'll see you back here next time for closures. Bye-bye.